Doing good, doing good. Big hey. first week, how you feeling? Oh, I feel great, excited, man. You know, uh, get another opportunity to go play another team, new defense, and uh, we're excited. How, how well do you feel like the offense has grasped this offense that you're going to run the plays and stuff? I feel like we've done a great job, honestly. You know, uh, starting in the spring with Coach Bandini coming in and then working all the way through fall camp, working till now. Everyone's real confident and, and has a lot of uh, a lot of good, uh, they, a lot of the guys have been studying very well and very hard and and we got a good grasp of the offense for sure. How much was the bill you had to pay for your offensive lineman at the barbecue place? Uh, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. I'm not gonna, I am not won't get into specifics. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Sondheimer wants to know. So. It, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Would you do it again, I guess is the question. Oh yeah. Okay. We're, uh, we're trying to figure out a thing where we can get oh, something yeah. going every week. The weekly Thursday oh, yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 Try, and, uh, try and get something going, you know, bring those guys together, do a little bonding. You Keep get them an happy, NIL yeah. deal out of it with the restaurant. That's maybe. we're just trying to figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen on strides as Garrett made it right tackle for you? Garrett's been awesome. You know, he's uh he's really improved and especially that's a lot of credit to Coach Castillo. He does a phenomenal job with those guys. Uh, but yeah, Garrett has been putting in the work, doing his time, and it's really paying off. He, people are gonna see this here for sure. What's it been like dealing with DB because he can, or just when you met him and then now, because he can be an intense guy. Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, I wouldn't want to have it any other way. Me personally, I, I need a coach like that who's going to uh, get after you when you're not doing right and is going to be your biggest fan when, when you're doing something uh, right. So, I mean, I love Coach EB. I think he's a, a phenomenal coach and he does a great job. And, and uh, yeah. This is your second straight season heading into the year as a starting quarterback. How would you compare how you feel this year compared to last year? Uh, I mean, I feel great this year. You know, it's another opportunity to, like I said, play a new defense, play a new team, and I couldn't be more happy and uh, more excited to start the year this way. Talking about playing the new new defense, what have you seen on film about Hawaii's defense and how they're going to attack you guys and how you can kind of stop that? Yeah, they got a lot of playmakers uh, on that defense. They're very well coached by a, a coach who's been in the NFL and then uh, with uh, Deion Sanders for the last couple of years. But, uh, you know, they, they play hard, they play fast, and they're, and they're physical. So uh, we're looking forward. It's going to be a good matchup. You mentioned a couple of the playmakers. Um, anyone in particular maybe flash out a little bit more on film? Yeah, um, I'd say, you know, their, uh, their linebackers do a great job. Uh, their safeties do a great job. And, and I think uh, those two kind of working together uh, are a good thing for their defense. You, you, excuse me, putting in work. I mean, you've really earned this opportunity. You've stuck it out here. Um, how do you think that resonates with your teammates and kind of who know you and know your story? I mean, uh, they've all known me for the past five years. I mean, they've seen me work day in and day out. And I think just that itself just speaks for itself, you know? Um, that's, that's really all I can say. Can you feel that? Like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. No, definitely. Um, the friendships I've built here will last a lifetime for sure. And, and uh, you really create a special bond when you're working together for the common goal with someone. And it's it's great. You know, I can feel that. Exactly, yeah. Even before everything happened with the offseason changes and stuff, you were not after that goal game that you were coming back. Yeah. Were you on defense going into that game and just the second half's like, yeah, I want to do this again? You know, that game was just an interesting game, you know. We were down a little bit, and I mean, I wasn't going to sit there. Even if I was 100%, I wasn't going to sit there and just let my guys down like that, you know. So I felt an obligation to kind of go in there and uh, and help the team in any way I can. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, that's my most important job. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there was no second guess or anything. If I was coming back to UCLA, I wanted to graduate from here, uh, give the awesome degree that I got, and uh, yeah, pretty much that. How important was that game for your confidence? Did, did it do anything for your confidence, the LA Bowl? Or? I mean, I was already confident before that. I knew I, I trusted in my abilities, and uh, and confidence was not lacking at all. But I mean, yeah, it definitely helped in that stage, in that moment. Just uh, and if anything, I would just say just added experience. And that, that was a big thing. What kind of uh, development have you seen from Alani since uh, the beginning of fall camp to now? Yeah, he's been great. Uh, like I said about Garrett, Coach Coach Steele gets a lot of credit for those guys. You know, he works them super hard every day, day in and day out. And uh, Alani's done a great job. He's 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 a big guy. He's he's gonna stand in the way, and he's in, he's gonna do a great job this year for us too. You got a. Back to the oh. LA Bowl, you really showed your connection to what started it in that game. Mm -hmm. You know, some deep touchdown passes. What more can we expect from that connection? Yeah, I mean, from 
But you're going to see that from all the guys. You know, we're going to be an explosive offense this year that pushes the ball downfield. And, um, I mean, you can see it from every single one of the receivers. Titus, Rico, Logan, J. Mike. We're going to be uh, attacking the ball deep for sure. You mentioned uh, Titus. One, you guys get him back this year. And oh, yeah. two, he gets to go back home. Oh, yeah. uh, how excited are you for him? You know, both of those circumstances. Yeah, it's it's awesome. I'm super excited for uh, Titus because he's one of my good friends. And I know he doesn't really get to see his family a lot. And it's going to be awesome. I, I think he has like a bunch of people coming to the game. I don't even know the exact number. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, I'm super excited for him, and it's an opportunity for him to also play against his brother, which, yeah. is, which is really cool and uh, something special. I, I, I got to deal deal with that a couple of years ago, my brother at Cal, but it's just it's an awesome experience. I'm happy for Titus, happy he gets to go back home. Did you notice they called his brother Titus on the broadcast? I did, yeah. I, I was listening to that. I said, that's not Titus. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. But, yeah. I talked to your OC, Coach Eddie, um, oh, yeah. and he, he took my confidence. He said, you're the kind of guy over 12 foot putt. No problem. Oh, yeah. is, that, is that true? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll probably say 10 feet. Yeah. 10 feet, okay. 10 feet, I'm doing it. Yeah. How, how important is confidence to like your job, especially this season? I mean, confidence is almost 90% of the quarterback position. If you if you believe you can do something, you can really, you can really do it. And I mean, it, I think it really helps when the other 10 guys are looking at you in the huddle and you're confident and you're like, hey, let's go. We got this. I mean, that really uh, that really speaks. Coach E.B. says it all the time. The offense goes as I go. And, that, I mean, that's really true for every quarterback in the country. How much does it benefit you to have a receiver, better receiving Because even Rico came in yeah. the games. Johnson. Oh, it's very beneficial. You know, those guys have worked their tails off uh, throughout spring and throughout fall camp, you know, we put a lot on their plate, and uh, this offense requires the receivers to do a lot, but they've all stepped up. They've all done what they need to do, and they're doing a great job and continue to do a great job. Awesome. Thank, cool. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.